I don't know about you, but I always feel so much pressure to glow up for summer. I feel pressure to have a hot girl summer, to look a certain way for summer, and to live my life like the trend we all know, that girl. But I want this summer to be different. I want to be the absolute best version of myself. And for me, that means prioritizing my happiness. Welcome to what I call a happy girl summer. So what is happy girl summer? This summer, I want to focus on my mindset and I want to make sure I'm doing things that only make me happy. Everything else has to go. It's looking on the brighter side of things. It's making the most out of your days. I honestly feel like I have spent so many summers stressing over like my physical appearance. So if you're like me and you just want to make the absolute most out of your summer, like I'm talking, we want 2016 summer vibes in 2023. Then join me on my journey. This is going to be a three part series to kickstart our happy girl summer and we are going to be doing everything together. We are going to be completely resetting our lives. A clean space gives you a clear mind. We are also going to focus on not being so hard on ourselves. Listen to our intuition, listen to our bodies. We're gonna honor what we need and not beat ourselves up for it. We don't need that negative energy, especially not from ourselves. And lastly, we are going to glow from within, nourishing our bodies, spending less time on our screen and getting more real life dopamine we're going to be mindful whenever you're truly happy on the inside you will glow on the outside so those are the three ways that we are going to kick off our happy girl summer and we are going to do them all together so if you guys want to join me on my happy girl summer journey make sure you hit the subscribe button and i hope you guys enjoy the video i have my journal i have my happy drink and now it is time to make a list. We are going to make a list of everything that we have been putting off. It seriously feels so good when you can physically check off and see that you completed something on your list. It just feels so rewarding. So we are making a physical list today of everything we have been neglecting doing, everything we have been procrastinating over the past few months because happy girl summer is all about feeling good, feeling accomplished, and starting off with a clean slate. I just made an entire list of everything I have been procrastinating. A lot of it does have to do with um, cleaning my apartment. I have been putting it off for so long, but today we are changing that. We are going to do laundry, clean the kitchen, unload and reload the dishwasher, reorganize my cupboards because I have noticed that I've noticed for a long time that I don't like where I put everything when we moved in. It seems a little all over the place and I've been wanting to reorganize it for so long, I just haven't. So today we are doing that. And then we are going to organize my closet. So the main focus of today is really just gonna be my kitchen and my closet and just organizing things, decluttering things. So that is what we're gonna start with and we will see where it goes from there. So the reason why we're starting off by cleaning is because a clean space really does give you a clear mind. When you wake up in the mornings, you don't have anything to stress over and everything is just so nice and organized and it just feels so good. It feels so good to wake up and have everything be nice and clean and you can look at it and be like, yeah, I did that. I took the initiative and I did that. It builds confidence and it just makes you feel good. And that is what this summer is about. It's just about feeling good. And by resetting our space around us that we live in, we are going to reset our mind at the same time because we're going to wake up with a clear mind, a happy mind, and really take advantage of our space, whether that's your apartment, your house, your bedroom, whatever it may be, whatever you have been putting off, just taking the time to clean it will boost your happiness.
chunk done but that being said I know for a fact I am not gonna be able to finish everything on my list and that is okay another thing about happy girl summer is not being so hard on ourselves so if you do a few tasks and you're feeling burnt out honor that honor the burnout honor rest and take rest when you need to because it'll leave you feeling more charged for tomorrow and you'll feel more inclined to just get back at it so that is exactly what we are going to do I'm hungry to be honest so we're gonna make some dinner we're gonna honor this little feeling of burnout I am proud of myself for starting today I know I cannot finish today but I will definitely try to finish tomorrow and my boyfriend will be home so he can help me with some of this stuff and we're gonna do something that makes us happy we're gonna eat and we're gonna watch Gilmore Girls have to go grocery shopping really bad so that dinner was not the best thing I've ever made in my life but she did the trick I think I'm just gonna read my book for a little bit but I will see you guys in the morning and we will continue our little cleaning session good morning it is officially the next day I'm almost done my coffee and we are going to tackle the task that I have been putting off for months like I want to say since January it is officially time because I do not want to go into summer having a cluttered space having a cluttered closet where I cannot find the cute clothes that I want to wear I need some organization in my life and today is the day I would be lying to you if I told you that I am excited to do this I am not I've been sitting here for a good mm, three hours scrolling on my phone procrastinating doing this but that is the whole point of this video that is the whole point of this glow up we are doing the things we don't want to do we're doing them together to make it a little bit easier and we're doing it not because we want to but because we know we will feel better once we're done <sighs> now that that's out of the way let's get cleaning shall we so this is what we are working with like when I tell you it's a disaster, it is a literal disaster. I have a feeling this is an entire day project. It's currently 11. I will keep you guys updated on the time, but I just know this is gonna take me forever, but that's okay. I'm gonna appreciate it so much when I'm done. I have everything sorted into big piles and now I'm just gonna go through them 
and I'm gonna see which items are appropriate for summer and which items are appropriate for winter and I'm gonna get a bag and I'm gonna store away all of my winter clothes because I do have a lot of clothes and limited space in my closet. I mean, my closet is a walk-in and it is pretty big, but for the amount of clothes I have, to have everything in there, it just looks so cluttered and I just, I can't have that right now. So <laughs> we are storing away all of my winter clothes and we are making my closet fully accessible of all of my spring and summer items. pretty good I don't have that many I don't have a crazy amount of winter sweaters so that didn't take very long but now I'm going to start loading everything back into my closet and we're gonna keep it color coordinated so I'm gonna go from white to beige or you know what I'm gonna go from black to beige to white and then we're gonna go into the colors and we're gonna go from pink to blue to green and those are the vibes pretty good path right now but I just ran into a little bit of a problem I'm out of hangers and I still have all of this that I need to find a home for so not really sure what to do I just texted my boyfriend to see if he knows if there's any hangers laying around and where he put them but if not I'm gonna have to make a trip to the store and I'm gonna have to buy more hangers because your girl needs it <laughs> I literally have nowhere to put these clothes at the moment. I could shove them back into my closet for the meantime, but I don't know. I started and I'm feeling motivated to get this done. It's currently 12.40, so it's almost one o'clock. It's taken me almost two hours so far just to organize and start hanging everything up. I feel good, but I really just want to get it done. So I'm hoping I have some extra hangers laying around. I just put on a matching set. And while I wait for my boyfriend to respond to me, I'm going to go on a quick little hot girl walk um, because I don't feel like sitting around and scrolling on social media while I wait. <laughs> This is currently what we're working with. I basically found a spot for almost everything except all my green stuff, but I think, I think either tonight or tomorrow I'm gonna buy some more hangers and we can finally finish up this project and officially be done the very first step to glowing up this summer. But to be honest, even though I'm not fully done, I already feel better. Like every time I open this door, I expect it to be super messy and like I don't want to go in there. But I open it and it's just so nice seeing everything super organized and in its right place. And it just feels so good. And I'm so proud of myself for just sticking through it and doing it today because oh, I really did not want to. I took so many breaks today while I was doing it because my brain was just like, I can't do this anymore. But we've made it pretty far. We're literally almost done it feels good i'm feeling good and i'm excited to see it fully done hi besties it is officially the next day so i never ended up getting hangers but that's okay i ended up folding all of my clothes and just setting it on the top as much as i could and then i put the rest just on the floor for now until i do end up getting hangers but until then, I'm happy with the progress I've made. My home is really starting to come together. I'm loving how clean it is and I'm really proud of myself. So I'm just going over the to-do list we made at the beginning of the week. And, and all I have left to do now is organize my cupboards and organize the bathroom. I think we're gonna start with the kitchen because I've been wanting to do the cupboards for a while now. But before we start, I need coffee. Thank you. 
That did not just happen. <laughs> that did not just happen. You know what? I just mopped the floors. Five second rule, I'm gonna pick all this ice up. had no other ice option, you would have done the same thing, so don't judge. That is so good. Mm, mm, mm. This is just what I needed. I am a happy, happy girl right now. Okay, time to put on a podcast and start organizing. Okay, so I have this little coffee corner in my kitchen and right above it, I have a few cupboards. And right now, this corner cupboard is basically like just cans of food and then, you know, the milk frother. So I'm thinking I want to switch this cupboard with what we have going on over here. And over here, I basically just have like all of my supplements. I have all of my breakfast slash coffee stuff. And same goes for up here. So I really want to switch this cupboard with this cupboard because I think it would just make so much more sense to have all of my coffee stuff, all of my electrolytes, all in one spot, easy to access. So that is what we're going to start off with. I may or may not have already finished my coffee, but that's okay. We're just going to try to connect to my BFF, Alexa. Got to connect to my girl, Alexa. <laughs> That's what we want to hear. Music to my ears. Okay, I know I said I wanted to listen to a podcast, but I'm joking. I really want to listen to music. So I'm going to play Endless Summer Vacation. Oh my gosh, have you guys seen the TikTok of her where she's like, <laughs> where she's like, I am in a very good mood this morning because I'm doing my favorite thing, looking at pictures of myself. Like, ah, same, <laughs> like literally same. Anyways. Yes, this, these are the vibes. Playing from Sarah's iPhone. Um, it's very cluttered right now, so 
I want to quickly fix that. This is the shelf that I'm talking about. I mean, as you can see, there's just product everywhere. It's kind of messy, so let's fix it. <laughs> I truly feel like I can just let out a big breath because everything, well, I just made dinner, so I have to put the dishes away, but besides that, everything is just so clean and so refreshed and it just feels so good. It feels so good walking in and seeing that like I did that and this is my home, this is my sanctuary, and the vibes are good. And I deserve the vibes to be good and I deserve to have a nice clean space, just like you do. And yeah, I'm super excited that we are finished cleaning. Thank you for joining me to part one of this three-part series. I love you so much and I will see you next week. Bye.